Janine says she wants some young Jeezy. Jay-Z snatching phones up at Diddy's party. And Megan Thee Stallion seems like she done moved on to Wiz Khalifa. Let's get into it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat back on. Black beat So while I'm serving y'all all of this sex in this honey, we got Christmas coming up. So what does that mean? Shout out to our sponsor, Adam and Eve at adamandeve.com. Girl, y'all know it's about that time, honey. Christmas is coming around the corner and you need to be getting you some stuff for the bedroom. Okay? Now I've already checked out some of the stuff on the site and I'm gonna let you all know for my fans, you get a discount on your first item on adamandeve.com. You get 50% off using the discount code King. What other code would you use? But King, so use that discount code and not only you get 50% off your first item, but you also receive free shipping. And that's for people who are living in the United States as well as Canada. Some exclusions may apply, y'all know how that works, but make sure that you check out the fine print before you go and check out. But girl, make sure you go ahead and do your orders now because Christmas is coming. I already got some things I need to get bay. Um, because, girl, I'm trying to... <laughs> Check out the link in the bio as well as the comment section and go to adamandeve.com and get your gift, girl, because I already got mine. What about you? So what's going on, y'all? Welcome to King Reed's video. Yes, I miss you all. Girl, I feel like it's been only like a week since I did my last King Reed's video. But y'all see what's going on. We got sponsors over at King Reed's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so shout out to all of you all who've been supporting the brand, who've been supporting and uplifting me. I'm just so happy. This is a shout out to Adam and Eve for sponsoring, um, you know, a part of this episode of King of Reeves. We love to see it. Make sure y'all going out and doing all that. Y'all get y'all Christmas presents. Go ahead, girl. Get you some lingerie. Get all those things, girl, because I already got me a couple of pieces, okay? But um, y'all already know. So, uh, yeah, so welcome to another King of Reeves video. So much is going on. Um, I, I felt like that the longer I wait to do a King of Reese video, the more stuff piles up on me. But that's okay. I appreciate you all who was on the live stream yesterday and said, girl, talk about this. He raced there. I was like, girl, a mess. Some of y'all told me, don't talk about Robin being engaged from Real Housewives of Potomac. Y'all were so shady about that. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about it real quick before I even time, because it was just so funny. But y'all just did not care about Robin being engaged uh, from Real Housewives of Potomac. Uh, y'all know that her and her boyfriend, husband, fiance, whatever he is this week, they had stopped and they got back together. They was living together and their finances was, I don't know, girl, but now he's proposed to her. Um, and now, you know, she's saying that they're doing a non-traditional uh, ring thing. And it's okay, girl. You ain't got to explain nobody that your, money, your man ain't got no money to buy no ring. Or you have to spend your, your real housewives with Tom and check to get the ring. I honestly have a lot of things to say about rings and stuff. Because after watching this episode of Explain on Netflix, I don't really see the purpose of getting rings. But I think it's a thing where it's, it's a status type of thing. We maybe we'll do a video of explaining that or talking about it. Maybe maybe we'll do that. Y'all don't care about Robin. Y'all don't care about Real Housewives of Potomac right now, girl. So let's go ahead and do this mental check-in. So mental check-in, how am I feeling? Looking good as hell. Yes, I got my chest out. So y'all already that means that means tea gonna be hot today. Honestly, I get tired of hearing the word tea. But um, I'm in very great spirits today. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm, this week has been like a lot going on. I've been putting out content. Shout out to all the folks who've been watching the videos and stuff. I've been doing like the loving hip hop reviews, the all of the um, all of the stuff. Like I've just been doing content and just putting out content for you all um, and working on some other stuff behind the scenes. Uh, because I'm gonna take a break in January. I don't know if it's gonna be the first week of January, the second week of January, or the third week. But y'all won't hear from me for about a week or at least five days. It's gonna be at least five days. I ain't gonna do no video or anything besides something that's on King of Reeves. So that's it. But before we get into all of this, I had to, you know, talk about my guy, Lorenzo. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lorenzo. It's one of his, he's like a super fan. I love him so much. He's always supported. He's been supporting me for a while. He just turned 21. Um, and I'm just so happy for him seeing him blossom into his, you know, intelligent, um, well aware self. So shout out to you, Lorenzo. Happy birthday. Um, and happy birthday to any of my Sagittarius. I think this, what it is, Sagittarius in December. So happy birthday, all the Sagittarius and whatever. I love y'all. Happy birthday. Um, whatever. Christmas is coming up. We got a week before Christmas, girl. Gonna be making my way to Memphis. To see the family, experience all of that. Probably gonna spend too much money. I don't want to do that, girl. I've already ordered some clothes for the trip. 
Just a lot, girl. I got some stuff going on. I want to go to Memphis and get me a present. I got a present that I want for my birthday. For what for, for Christmas. And I hope I'll be able to get it. I just hope that this Christmas present is coming through and everything is right. I'm gonna let y'all know if that comes through for me. So y'all just be putting up some good energies or whatever. But uh, with that being said, girl, let's go ahead and get to the tea. So let's hop on into it. Diddy and his 50 birthday party the girls were living apparently naomi campbell was responsible for the guest list she invited the grades from um, beyonce jay-z to um kanye west kim kardashian um who is a uh, mary j blige was there we saw janae um aiko was there all these beautiful beautiful people were there all these celebrities and stuff and the party looked really nice Girl, you got this picture that everybody is clowning of Jay-Z standing on the side and then you got Diddy and I can't think of who the other person was, girl. I just don't even remember. Um, and Kanye West is like, what's going on? And Jay-Z just like, girl, what? Girl, that's so interesting because them folks have built some stuff together and now they ain't in the same place and not even talking to each other, girl. And they did like a little sport. Girl, like, ah, it's a little, he's a little close to home, girl, but it be like that. It be like that, girl, and you know, it's messed up. But sometimes the girls just don't be wanting to feel no type of way. Uh, and it's just, I don't know, girl. It's a little bit complicated. I'm, I ain't gonna dive into it too much. But Jay-Z standing off and just be like, girl, I, I, don't, I don't know. Then Kanye West look like somebody's deacon or something. Just like looking at Jay-Z like he want to speak but too scared. Don't know how. He don't know how Jay-Z going to speak to him. But I think Jay-Z did and Kanye did speak. I did think of a video of him like, you know, sharing some dab or whatever. And look at did it bringing folks together. Because you real good at separating some folks because you separated Danny the can. And Danny Kane was one of the good girl groups, girl. I listen to I'm addicted to love and touching, touching and rub. I'm a sucker for love. Okay, I'm gonna show tennis for y'all. I love Danny Kane. The Dark House and the first album, I don't know the name of it. My heart is damaged, damaged. Girl, damaged. I love, I love Danny Kane. With that being said, girl, um, there's this video of Jay-Z snatching a phone from somebody who was recording. Looks like they was trying to record Beyonce or whatever. And <laughs> the way. Jay snatched the phone from this person has me hollering like it's just he just snatched the phone just like with no problem like girl what you doing with that uh, ooh nothing girl and Beyonce she right here doing this every little step I take girl she just trying to uh like pat this person down cause it's just like that's my husband girl but you should have been filming uh somebody said girl what you would have done if Jay-Z would have snatched your phone girl my friend Mike on Twitter gonna say some, um, girl, you talking about break my wrist? Girl, do what you gotta do, get your coins. Hello, 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 happy Christmas. Uh, but the Diddy thing, that whole thing was funny. Uh, Janae Aiko and Big Sean was hugged up and booed up. Um, yeah, girl. Sis, y'all be on and off, but they said, she said that he made her Bra -da -da -da, nine times in one day, so I guess she gonna be bra -da -da -da, bouncing, bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. Good for you, girl, but sometimes them, sometimes it ain't even worth it for that extra stress. It's just not. So let's move on. Let's talk about y'all favorite girl on what is that? The real? That's the name of the show. Um, Janine, whatever her name is, she is dating Young Jeezy. Uh, Jeezy the Snowman, and Jeezy the Snowman just like he is just so happy. And just so in love with you, girl. Um, but if we look over to the left, oops, there goes the shade. Throw up the old video. Black guys. Loved black guys. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. yeah. I did. I did. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married. Oh, my. Janine, you had said that, girl, you okay with getting a piece of dark meat. For on every, every once in a while, but you like white me. But now you trying to get on the BBCs, and I don't trust any non-black person that's gonna be out here using the term BBC. And if you don't know what BBC means, you need to look it up. You ain't cute. That's not cute. And we don't use the word cork. We don't use that word over here. Keep that word over there. Like we ain't doing that over there. Like girl, no ma'am. But um, girl, that's a mess. G uh, Jeezy. He's so happy, girl. You, I can already see this is not going to go good. Sis is going to leave. Um, she ain't going to talk to this man long. And Jeezy going to be somewhere back at the strip club. You going to send me back to the strip club, Stevie? going to send me back to the strip club? While we talking about that, let's move on and talk about Miss Jocelyn Hernandez. 
The Puerto Rican princess. So my rumors and the tea leaves were right. Jocelyn is on loving hip hop Miami. Uh, did you miss me? Not really, girl. Um, but we're gonna see what it's gonna give. We're gonna see what's this giving and what it's gonna be about. Um, I will be watching loving hip hop Miami. I think it come on the first week of January. Girl, y'all trying to work me. Work, 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 work. Uh, y'all trying to work me. Now, I do have a question. Um, y'all be nice now. Um, some of y'all like me and Bay doing loving hip hop reviews together. Tell me if that's something that you all are interested in because if y'all want Love and Hip Hop New York and Love and Hip Hop Miami and they both coming on Monday and Monday night back to back, girl, you have to pick one. Well, I won't do neither one of them because I really don't like doing um, Love and Hip Hop that much. But Bay makes it fun. So if y'all interested in me and him doing those Love and Hip Hop reviews together, let me know in the comments. And that will be something we would consider going into the new year for the 2020 on the vision, period. So back on Jocelyn Hernandez, she has a new show called The Capital A. Um, and girl, I'm just gonna be honest, when I saw it, I was like, this is some bunch of ratchet-ish. Like, the whole thing was just ratchet. It was just like, girl, what is that? Like, ah, uh, like, uh, girl, I, I mean, girl, you like it, I love it, girl. I mean, I just, I looked at it, I was like, I can tell you one thing, Zeus is good at putting ratchet stuff like that together and they can do it and they don't have to worry about like people being hard on them like a VH1 or BET or any, like, like they can just do their own thing. So this is perfect for that type of content. I just don't know if I'm gonna watch it. I might be watching Tokyo Tony show. Um, Tokyo Tony got a show on, um, what is that? Tokyo Tony got a show on um, Zeus as well. And Zeus is like a little streaming thing. Like you can get an app and you can just watch some shows and stuff. And um, Tokyo Tony has a show there. And girl, when she had told that, said, none of y'all ain't getting out of this box. I ain't messing with no thought box. She said, y'all ain't getting out of this box. And I hollered. That was funny. Um, but, girl, stop looking at my titties. But the whole show, it just looked like it's something thrown together. It looked like some thrown together mess. But people gonna watch it. People gonna get their life. Jocelyn, girl, some girl saying, you said the show wasn't coming. I don't think I said that in the video. I think I said, I'm not sure. And I asked, was the show coming? So now it's here. Will I be watching? Hell to the no. So let's move on to talk about other shows. Girl, we got to talk about Justin Smollett possibly returning to Empire. I have not been watching the season of Empire. I haven't watched season of Empire since season, like three years ago. So when I first moved here, I think I stopped watching Empire after 2016. I was just done watching it. I'm just like tired of giving y'all my stuff. I'm not watching it. Uh, but Empire is thinking about from the rumors and the tea leaves, it seems as though they might have just a small lad on the season finale just to go ahead and close the door. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Just a small lad and got a lot of stuff going on. I think he just needs to go ahead and just like, I don't think it's best for Justice small lad to be on any type of, you know, thing like that. I think he just needs to just you know, slowly work on what's going on with the Chicago police and his lawsuit. They've already fired the person who was over the Chicago police um, or whatever. So I just think that just Smollett just does not need to be in the limelight right now. But, it, you know, his folks probably telling him that you do need to be. That's all the discussion about, you know, the whole thing with Justice Smollett. Uh, the girls was doing a lot with that. Like it was a it was a big conversation. We talked about it on in the middle. You check it out. Um, it's a show that we do, me and Deshaun, Tasia do. But we did a group group discussion. It was great. We talked about the whole thing. But if you haven't, if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen it. So type in Justin Smollett in the middle, and you will see it. It's a good discussion. I think we had like a whole bunch of folks there. It's like probably like 10, 10, 11 folks, and it was just a great discussion. We love doing new type of things, absolutely. So moving on, um, we also have some other stuff to talk about. Um, this Lyric Galore situation. Girl, I had to do some digging. Um, so Lyric Galore has accused P, who is the CEO of Quality Control. Quality Control um, manages um, the City Girls and some of our other faves over there um, with who them, the Migos and stuff, the Tree Goals or whatever. Um, and P is bringing in the coin. He's been delivering some hot 100s, like he's bringing in the coin. And uh, Lyric Galora is known for, she dated Rick Ross and she was engaged to him several years ago. They broke up. I don't know if they have a child together. I don't know um, because I'm not that invested in that. I'm just not, I ain't, I'm just giving the commentary on this and giving you a little bit. Girl, I ain't gonna be doing a whole background check. Um, but they have a child together, P, 
and Lyra Galore have a child together and Lyra Galore has accused him of you know abuse she said that you know that you know during her pregnancy she was experiencing abuse with him and you know it was just a, a challenging pregnancy during the whole deal um, and girl, this has not been like, it's, they've been trying to like tone it down because they are not trying to have P out here with no bad rep, like no bad thing. So P has been responding to it and P put up a screenshot that's supposed to be alleged of Lyra doing some code while she was pregnant. And let me tell y'all about y'all sales, cause baby, y'all had me screaming. I gotta pull up my phone cause it had me screaming. Lyra Galore posted his tweet at 8.53 p.m. on the 17th. Girl, she said, clout is a drug. Why somebody responded said, coke is too. Do you hit the plate or not, sis? Damn. <laughs> Y'all ain't right. Um, when it comes to stuff like this, I am always going to side with the person who is making the allegation. Um, until we get the information into more details emerge, I just won't, I will always side with the person who's making the allegation. And if, you know, it is untrue, we'll find out. But we have to support this person to get to the T and get to the bottom of it. So I'm not going to say, no, that didn't happen. No, that didn't happen. Because we're going to get to the T eventually. But we don't want to, you know, push people away from having legitimate claims and stuff and, and, and not want to tell their truth because they're scared of people not believing them. So always believe the victim because if it's not a victim, we're going to find out. So you don't have to worry about them not actually being a victim. We believe them. Um, the stuff is going to come out and then it's just gone from there. So P has been firing back and, you know, saying some stuff and whatever have you. And he's he just, you know, kind of murking the waters a little bit. I think there is a little bit of folks not interested in supporting Lyra Galore because she, they see her as a gold digger or whatever. And that she's out here looking for clout and she was with all these famous folks and blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't care. I don't care what Lyra Galore was. I don't care if she was a stripper. She was out here doing all that. I don't care if she was a gold digger. If these men did not know that, then they are a fool. Like, I don't understand how y'all keep saying these women out here trying to get all that, but y'all constantly fall into these traps all the time. So what is it? Is it a trap? Because both of y'all are getting something out of it. You getting something out of it, and she getting something out of it. So you think somebody's supposed to just give you love and affection? No, man, you ain't gonna give me no love and affection because you ain't gonna do me right. I've seen how y'all did Janae Echo, all these other folks, Beyonce done got done wrong, all these folks. Like, girl, why would I? So if, if I need to just be... Bump, bump, bump. If I need to do that and ask you for a check or send you an invoice, so be it. Sex work is work. Period. And I don't I don't care about that, but I think that they're trying to like it, it kind of hurts Lyra Galore a little bit because folks are just like she deserves whatever she gets and it's on her. Like, girl, I ain't got nothing to do with it. They're just not supporting her because she is quote unquote a gold digger. And it's just like, y'all okay with it just because she was I like, guess just I just don't get it. I just don't get it. It's just, it's just, it's just a whole trash situation. Um, but what does this mean in the future for them, uh, girl? It, it just ain't looking pretty, girl. It's just not looking the best for both of them. Um, I hope they find come to a common agreement or something and let this go and let God, because girl, it's just becoming a little too much to be seeing on social media every day. It's a little draining, sis. Speaking of other things that are draining, this whole impeachment process, the whole impeachment process is draining me and my homegirl. Right now, the House is voting and having a debate about to impeach the president. Um, and I was watching some videos and doing some research on impeachment because it seemed like some people don't get that impeachment is a process. Uh, removal from office is the outcome. So the impeachment is a process like we do that. Bill Clinton was impeached, but he was not removed from office. It takes a lot to be able to remove a president from office. So you can be impeached. It's almost like you're saying that we didn't agree what you did. We didn't agree what you did. So from my understanding, the Senate is going to be the one that's going to be the judge and the jury to make it like, girl, we need to do we need to get them out. And if we get them out, are we going to investigate them and give them, uh, you know, charge them with crimes and stuff like all of those things come with that. But, you know, even though the House is going to vote and it's going to pass, it's going to get to the Senate. It's just not going to go no further. Like the House is I think the Democrats have control of the House. They do. But they don't have control of the um, the the, um, the the Senate, and the Senate is run by Republicans, and Republicans are going with what their base is saying. Their base is not pressed about this. Like people are still split on having this man removed from office, even with all the evidence and all the things we said in the earlier video. I talked about a little bit, and I talked about um, him, our, uh, him already um, 
being um, the, done the perjury stuff and that was not true. Shout out to my guy Elijah for letting me know about that. Um, he has not committed perjury, but he knows if he was to go in front of the, um, the house and, and answer these questions, um, he's going to be, you know, lying. Um, because we got the facts and said, girl, <laughs> you said such and such. So when we get you on record, your ass is lying. And then that's a perjury t situation. So this stuff is a little bit more complicated. Um, I have been paying attention to it a little bit. I have not been talking about it on here. Normally I've been talking about stuff like this on the podcast. For those who are asking, I am working on doing a podcast episode. About two more episodes before the end of this year. Um, maybe just one final episode. Um, for this year and let y'all know what is going on. Maybe that I might do like an end of year assessment or something But be looking out for something for a podcast episode by the end of this year Coming out and it's just gonna be something special for you all uh, for those who were so in love with for the culture podcast And we would talk about that just ain't had the tags of working on other stuff. So um, the, the the whole political stuff is just draining like girl, we just tired of hearing about it. Can we move on to something else period? So moving on to something else girl. Let's talk about Miss Smith and her praying. Miss Smith was in there praying, girl. Miss Please keep us, Lord Father God. We are all hurting. Everybody is hurting. Not just me, but my husband. He's hurting. And Candace, Lord Father God, she's hurting. I pray, Lord Father God, for Candace that you please just mend her heart, Lord Father God. For her to go out here, Lord Father God, and seek a married man. Father God, I just pray that you you give her grace and mercy. She was in there, oh, ooh, ooh. Sis was in there praying. Do you hear me? Never would have made it without you. Sis was in there praying her life away in that car. And it takes me back to the first ever video I've ever done on this channel, which was God is not on Facebook. He is not on social media. And that seemed like some, I don't, it was very weird. One, girl, some folks said, this is some powerful stuff. Girl, if it was that serious, you did not have to report yourself praying. Like, girl, you did not have to, you, girl, I don't mind you praying. If you want to pray for your man to stop cheating on you, girl, then, then do it. I mean, Cardi B out here giving her man who cheated on her $500,000 and going to record her giving this money. Cardi B, you could have gave this man five hundred thousand dollars without telling us. It just looked very silly. It's just I just I didn't see the purpose of Cardi B recording that. And like, girl, you look silly. I just would have done that. Like, we if you love that man, that's between you, him, and the mistress <laughs> this week. Like, girl, you ain't got to see you put no five hundred thousand dollars in the refrigerator. It just it just looks stupid. But that's Cardi B. That's her brand. Um, girl, shout out to the Cardi B fans who's gonna be watching this video. Impressed about that? You always got Cardi B name in her mouth, and her husband always got somebody else's in his. You hate to see it. I'm on the road today. I'm being so shady, but girl, 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 the praying and stuff. It was just a lot. Jr. Smith has responded and said, "Girl, we have been separated." What you gotta do? Separate. Talking about me and you. If y'all did separate, why are we hearing about why are we not hearing about you filing for divorce? If you have separated and you're in the process of dating somebody else, then go ahead and file for divorce. Like I just I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But um they said Sis was in there praying because she missed that Sloan, honey. They said she was in there praying if we to come back and hit. Uh, 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 she would uh, she wanted to, to hit her in her face girl I don't blame her honey but um she was on there hollering and praying oh girl it was just I felt some way for that girl I was like girl this is a mess honey you really hate to see it you really hate to see it um what else do we hate to see Takasha 69 girl let me go ahead and pull you up girl let me go ahead Takasha 69 um, 369, damn real fine. Let me lock you up for two more times. Takashi 69 is um gonna be he's been sentenced to two more years. Like girl, the shrimp folks, the lawyer try to say, Well, can we get time served? Um Judge said, no, 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 no. Can you say yes, yes, yes? Babe, I'm singing a song, I'm sorry. But sis told her no. We ain't giving you no time served. You're gonna do the two years. This whole situation was a serious incident. People were involved, people were hurt, period. So you're going to jail, period. Um, so he's gonna be sentenced to two years. Um, 
The Breakfast Club, uh, Charlemagne the Trash said that he don't see him doing the full two years or whatever. He might just do a year. We gonna see, The Breakfast Club was talking about something. Are they gonna invest, are they gonna interview him? And they said they shouldn't have to, they shouldn't, but they probably will. When Takashi gets out, if The Breakfast Club still is The Breakfast Club, they probably gonna interview him. But I don't think that Charlemagne gonna stay with The Breakfast Club too long. I think Charlemagne gonna probably create his own stuff if he's not already, he's already working on his own stuff, but I don't think Girl, I think the Breakfast Club gonna be on this end of this days, girl. They're gonna split up and it's not gonna be nowhere where it's at. I don't watch it that much anyway. So what y'all think about Takashi? What y'all think about it? Um Takashi! What y'all think about Takashi? I don't really care, honestly. I, I just I don't like when he get out the late he gonna probably do some more music when we gonna be bopping. Well some of folks gonna be bopping to it. And that's just gonna be what it is, girl. I just I don't even care. I, I really don't. But um we're gonna talk about my girl Megan Thee Stallion, okay? You know what but you know me. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion. I'm Will Khalifa, girl. They got a video and stuff, and girl, the girls are saying that Megan is hopping on, and she just a hoe, and she just Megan is living her best life, and she's just out here having fun. I feel like Megan is just their home girl. She just like to turn up and have fun. The only video I've seen that concerned me was the thing with Trey Songz telling her to drink more and take some more shots or whatever. Drive the boat and she seemed like she was already over it. Um, but I don't have no problem with Megan hanging out with Wiz Khalifa and doing whatever. Uh, I, I would like to see it, okay? So that's cute for her. A lot of people just like, girl, Meg, slow down. But Megan ain't doing nothing. Meg is out here living her best life. Let her live her best life with Wiz Khalifa in that slow. Like, Megan gonna be, she a stallion, girl. She about to get a horse. <laughs> girl, that was so messy. We live for Megan the stallion. I love her. Apparently, her and No Money are working on a song together for Birds of Prey, for the new movie that's coming out for, um, you know, from DC. I would like to see it. I'm, sure, I'm happy for Megan. The first episode of Love and Hip Hop New York had a Megan Stallion song playing. So Megan is hot right now. Hot girl summer. But what about um, Nerd Girl Fall or what, like, what happened with that? Like, can we can we figure that out? Like, So, one more thing to talk about. Um, girl, this Surviving R. Kelly documentary is back, back again. Um, the Surviving R. Kelly documentary um, it's coming with a part two, and then they just dropped the trailer. It's gonna be on Lifetime, and it just seemed like it was just a cash cow. The whole thing just looked very inauthentic. It just looked like something just, you know, put together. Like we are gonna take these folks' pain, but we gonna offer, we gonna also profit off of it. And I just didn't like it. I did not like it one bit. I just when I saw the trailer, I was just like, yes, you know. I, I, the story, I think the first story was enough. He, that man is going to jail. But to continuously like put these folks vulnerable, like to put their stuff out and to like have folks all, I just, I just don't know if it's worth it. Like that man is not getting out of jail. He's not. So I just don't understand the purpose of doing a second documentary on that. And it just seems like y'all just, Lifetime is just getting some cash. Like girl, it's just like, no, it, it, it did not need, y'all should have did that one thing and just said, we done, but now it looks like that y'all are just doing it because y'all want the money. And I, it's always gonna be that involved. That's why it's just like hard to do this work because capitalism always sneaks their hands in and I guarantee you the executives or whatever their lifetime was like, girl, let's go ahead. Let's do a part two. Like, can we get some more? Can we get some more? That's just like, are y'all offering counseling to these women that's going to be out here um, telling their stories and all that? But like. Is that going like is that going to happen? Are y'all going to offer something? Y'all already got R. Kelly's ex-wife or whatever her name is suing y'all or whatever. So it's just like, is it really worth it? What is the purpose of y'all doing it? What are y'all getting out of this? Because this man is behind bars, he's all of that. And I don't have no problem with us, you know, steady dragging his name, but it's just y'all seem like y'all are doing it for profit. And I just don't want to exploit someone's pain for profit. Dr. Jackie, are you listening? <laughs> but I just don't think it's just, I don't think it's just not right. I just, I don't like it. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it from watching the trailer. How y'all felt about it, girl. I ain't feeling it that much, girl. I just, I didn't like it. So I think that's about it. This is a, this was a, I think I did a part one and part two for this video. Um, I got into some things. We talked about some stuff. 
Um, I hope you all enjoyed this King of Reese video. I enjoyed you all. Thank you all so much for supporting the King of Reese brand, everything. Make sure that you are enjoying your holiday week. Go and get these presents. Make sure you're checking out our sponsor. Okay, absolute shout out to Adam and Eve. Um, do all those things. I love you all so much. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all week. And I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye.